coupling base chapter 3.4 after you have the part completed go to file new and our dimensions are in inches so I'm good here leave it here on ANSI create go to base view and we're going to have to flip this around using our cube. And I'm going to go here to scale and I'm going to try 2. And let me try 2.5. Wish that looks pretty good. So I'm going to drop in my top view, right side, isometric. Choose OK. Now I'm going to move these around a bit. First I'm going to go to annotate. Set a mark. Choose those two circles. Come in here, grab the outside of these two. Go to bisector. We have a hole here, so it's going to be represented by those hidden lines. And be this shows a that tangent point for this center line, so I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to go to dimension. First of all, I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to drop this bottom view down a bit. I'm going to go to Dimension, Center to Center. And I'm going to go up to the top, drop that in. OK. I'm going to click the outside of this one. OK. And the outside of this one. I'm going to try to line them up. Hit OK. Come over here, choose this one, and you want to go to the center line. I'm going to add a thickness here. And maybe thickness here. Go to the outside here, drop that in. Drop the diameter of that one in. Hit OK. All right. Now, title block. Text. Click inside there. Type in your name. Highlight it. Drop down. Highest number. Hit OK. Click inside the title. Type in chapter 3.4, highlight it, drop down, hit OK, pan over to this area, click right here, type in material, colon, space, carbon, steel. Highlight, drop down, hit OK. Hit Escape twice to get out of that text menu. Move that over. I'm holding down my left mouse and just moving these into place. And that will give you chapter 3.4.